Hi everyone, I just got my van and I'm super excited to deck it out and show you the process. I've put my seat covers on, got my steering wheel cover on, changed my number plates and just gone to Repco to buy some sand and for the roof. So yeah, super exciting. Welcome to my van. As you can see, there is back seats in this van. Not sure if I'll take them out yet or use that as part of the bed frame as they do lie flat. So it could save me a bit in ply, but work that out later on. Um, this is the back, opens up like a roof, which will be a perfect outdoor area for when I'm traveling. Um, it is a great car, it's an LDV G10. Um, so far, the past month that I've had it, it has been absolutely amazing to drive, looks good, runs well. Everything about it has just been super cool. Um, would like to have a few extra charging ports, but that can always be an aftermarket ad. Um, it has Bluetooth, great aircon, basically anything you can think of this van has. It is 2015, so it's not too old and just clocks over 100,000 on the odometer there. So it's not too high in case. Uh, there's my Bluetooth there. The sound system is actually really, really good. Um, I don't like to blast my tunes too loud, but, but it can do it. This is the sound deadener that I'll be putting on the roof. Picked it up for 150 bucks from Repco. Um, you can order the online one for cheaper, but I was too impatient and wanted it right there and then. Comes with a little roller like that in the box. Um, that was my favorite thing to use. And you kind of just stick it up and roll it on. Sorry for the very dark filming. I decided it would be a great idea to do it at six o'clock at night. Um, I bought it and wanted to do it right then and there. Um, as you could probably tell, I'm pretty impatient. Here I'm just marking out the structural supports of the roof to ensure I drill through that and not miss them. These are the screws and some of the materials I'll be needing. I didn't end up using the short screws as you first seen as we had a bit more room and gap than we thought we needed. I managed to find some self-tapping timber screws around the house, which definitely saved me a bit. Uh, any materials I found that I could use, I definitely did to save the money, which is a perfect way to keep prices down. Here we have cut a piece of decking board to size and we are using fat zip ties to leave it up there and almost help as a helping hand for when we screw it off. We're not struggling and making sure it doesn't move. We did decide to square off the roof. Some of those timber decking boards did get packed out to make it level. Um, the reason we did this was after a bit of research, we had gathered that majority of the curved roofs had failed and collapsed as someone was under there sleeping. So we decided it wasn't worth it. So we'll just square it off and do it the right way from the start.
After everything was screwed up, I went around and pumped all the joins with sealant flex for that little bit extra support and to stop any creaks and sounds. Time to cut the melamine two size. I got this from Bunnings for $30 a sheet. I did buy two and the joiner was 11. However, we worked out if we just did it long ways, I could put a skirting on and only have to use one sheet. Here we have pushed the melamine up center, ensuring that there is the same amount of gappage on either side as we're hoping to do a nice white skirting along it um, covering up all the mess and the the raw timber that's hidden behind it and those screws we did fewer center screws as we wanted to hide them so we just used the snap on screw caps um, we put the back on screwed on our screw and snap the cap on just to cover them and make them look a lot neater I then decided to undercoat the timber that was already in the van to freshen things up. Uh, I left the undercoat just how it is to create a whitewash kind of look. <laughs> 